Hello ladies. This is a continuation of my testimony in remembrance to Evangelist Billy Graham uh, that I did yesterday on my video. I had thought about um, talking about some of the things that I felt he inspired me to do after I had um, received my uh, license for evangelism, I was accepted into the uh, Jackson County Detention Center, and I worked there for over 25 years, but I was thinking that um, uh, evangelist Billy Graham, when I had uh, heard him and when I had worked with the um, crusade, I kept in the back of my mind a lot of things that he had said. And one of the things that always stuck in my mind was that our purpose was to deliver the Word of God, not to go in on self, but to go in speaking the Word of God and to deliver it in a way that would cause men to repent and receive Christ in their life. And I thought a lot of times when I worked in the Jackson County Detention Center, it was one of my uh, dreams, one of my hopes, because the Lord had given me a heart for hurting people and people that were in bondage. And as I worked there for over uh, 25 years, the Lord had uh, blessed me to uh, give the message four times, four times, um, a Sunday. They had um, four services, one for the women and they had two for the men. And I believe um, during that time the services started from 7 to 8 for the women and then we had from 8 to 9 and then from 9 to 10 and then that would give me time to get to my service. But I always thought when I would give the message it would be to give the message in a way that people would receive it with love, not to condemn, because when you're ministering in a penitentiary or in a jail, a lot of times uh, when you're ministering, sometimes the people can be, um, people can be sometimes uh, feel condemned because of what they had done. But one of the things that, um, uh, Billy Graham and that ministry had impressed on me was to let the people know that God loves them. He hates sin, but he loves us because we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But I remember one particular time when I was working in the jail and we were, we have yearly revivals. We would have people that would come on a yearly basis, usually renowned people. And this one particular year, I can remember uh, they had it all set up for uh, T. Jakes to come. And at that time, the chaplain was uh, Chaplain uh, Jim Calder, and he had been there for over 30 years. He retired four years ago, and now they have um, Chaplain Perl. But during that particular time, they had T. D. Jakes to, to come, and um, at the last minute, he wasn't able to come. Uh, but he was sending a video, and at that particular time, he sent um, large screen videos to a lot of institutions uh, for uh, prison ministries. But this one particular time, the inmates were very excited because uh, T.D. Jakes was coming, and uh, at the last minute, uh, something happened with the something happened with the the uh, video. The videos we didn't receive the videos. There was no large screen, so at that time, uh, Chaplain Jim Collier, uh, he was the head chaplain there. Like I said, they had many chaplains. I was one of them. I was one of the chaplain's assistants, but we had just one uh, main chaplain. And when they found out that um, T.D. Jakes wasn't coming, they had to get someone. And uh, at that particular time, uh, Chaplain Collier had asked me, would I deliver the message? And I was so elated 
And in the back of my mind, I was thinking that I would like to be able to do this the way I had been taught. And in the back of my mind, I say this because Billy Graham was such an inspiration to me. I thought, if I can go in and give a message in the way that he gave a message that would compel men to repent, I would do a good job. And of course, a lot of times, you can think that, well, um, you may not be able to talk to kings and princesses and governors, but you can talk to who you can talk to. You may not be able to do it like someone else, but if you do it the way God gives it to you, and if you ask the Lord to come into your heart and to touch you, you can minister the way God gives it to you. And if you can do that, that will be pleasing to the Lord. And I remember when I went in, I wasn't afraid. And I know that the Spirit of God was with me because there were hundreds, hundreds of people there. And I thought they're looking for someone else. But I know that God gave it to me because I was able to give the message the way I was taught. And that's to give it plain and simple. God is offering salvation. He sent his son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And as, it, as I began to minister to the people, the fear left, the peace came, the joy came. And from uh, that day to this one, I can't tell you exactly what was said, but I do know that it was receptive because the people came and they accepted the Lord. And in the back of my mind, as I was ministering, I always kept in my mind what I had heard uh, evangelist Billy Graham say for years and years. If you will just give the word of salvation, that Christ died on the cross for your sin, he shed his blood for your sin, that you might have eternal life that God loves you. He loves you. He hates sin, but he loves you. And whenever I would minister from that time to this one, it was in the back of my mind to do it as unto the Lord and not unto yourself. And I thank God for the way the ministry uh, took a turn in my life because I know that my mom was very instrumental in my going into the ministry, but um, Evangelist Billy Graham was very instrumental in my going into the prison ministry. And as I said, not only was he uh, instrumental in my life, but he was, uh, I think, most instrumental in my going into the jail and the prison ministry. So I just wanted to come in to give my testimony as to what um, evangelist Billy Graham contributed to my life. God bless you and I feel confident in saying that I believe that evangelist Billy Graham fought a good fight. I feel comfortable in saying that he finished his course and now is laid up for him in heaven a promise of glory. God bless you in your ministry, and may the Lord be with you. God bless you.